Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Delta Emerald. Can't believe I can finally say that. In the last episode, we began our trip around Hoenn once again in 3D. And in this episode, we are headed to the 3D, not Meteor Falls, but the Duford Cave, where we found two of our good friends, Makahurita and Salabai. I can't believe I almost called him by his actual name. That'd be kind of Akotako. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and try and find a meteorite shard so we could create something from Devon Corp that will save the world. And why is it anytime I start the recording, the pets leave? Like, so I got a dog and a cat recently. I got Shanti and Lulu. Look at how adorable they are. And like, at first I was like, oh god, I'm going to be so stinking annoyed whenever they interrupt recording. It's going to be like so difficult or whatever. But first off, they're stinking angels and I love them. And second they leave whenever I start talking, so I guess that works out, but I want to cuddle, buddy, when recording. I was so excited when Shanti was just like, right here, she's going to be cuddling with me. I'm like, yay, I'm so happy. But then she's all like, no, you're annoying. I'm going to leave. So that's unfortunate. I guess I'll be flying solo. Get it flying solo, because we're going to use fly to go to Duford, if I can find it. Uh, it's Route 106, Duford Town. There we go. Woohoo! Fly, my generic bird Pokemon. Maybe that's the actual design for Missing No. Who knows? Who Missing knows? Uh, real quick, we just probably want to go into the Pokemon Center and heal up a bit, because we do have some lost HP, and I forgot how weird Nurse Joy's design looks in this game. And is that Bonnie in the left? She kind of looks like her. I'm just going to heal y'all up. And let's see, what do you guys say? As long as you have Pokemon by your side, you can overcome language barriers and meet many different kinds of people. The 3DS is red already? What the fruit? Jeez. I was like, oh, I'm going to record this entire LP right now. Hopefully the 3DS won't die. Like, I know I just finished recording another LP with the 3DS capture card. Can I reach the charger from here? Oh, it is still plugged in. Yay. I know you're not supposed to play the 3DS while it's being charged, but it's a capture card. So like, I'm okay with it. Sort of. Kind of. Uh, for the time being. Let's stick that in there. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It's in the outlet that requires a light switch to be on in order to work. Shanti, will you turn the light on for me? Shanti? Lulu? Don't make me do it myself. Ugh, fine, be right back. I'm a professional video maker. Oh my god, so... I guess that's taken care of now, and this is also, I apologize that the audio sounds a bit weird. I'm using a very different setup. First off, it's being recorded on the laptop, but second, I'm using my uh, Sennheiser, I think it's a Sennheiser headset. Feels nice to be using a headset again, honestly, because I'm always like feeling that I need to hunch over and be like right at the mic and don't make any sort of movements so that I won't uh, change the how the audio sounds. But it's so relieving to just have a headset, just like lie back and it just feels so good. But uh, yeah, it's sort, it's sort of... Uh, meant to be a test run for future 3DS and DSLPs to see like how the audio is and how the recording works uh, if I'm recording audio and video at the same time just to sort of see what it's like so hopefully it turns out okay and it's decent enough for you to watch otherwise I'll probably have to fix some things this is the Pokemon fan club uh, the Duford Hall everyone talks about here I remember in the uh, Game Boy Advance when I made a big old Idol Master joke I don't remember if I actually gave them anything in here did I? Uh, I've been doing some research on trendy potion festivals. It's through the deep relationship between potion festivals and part-time jobs? Uh, no. Why is that so? It's not easy to have older fellas keep me with trends. Uh, let's see. Are potion festivals even trendier overseas? Apparently my word choice is potion festivals. Layla and Sludge Bomb. What? You don't know what Sludge Bomb? I feel sorry for you. Alright, you could have this one. Ooh, TM36 Sludge Bomb. Apparently I didn't get this before. It's nice, but Pokemon that use it, uh, Potion Festival would be nice too. Uh, of course, I should, and right now it's Potion Festivals. Got any other items for me? Uh, use Pokemon and Potion Festivals too. Pretty cool. I think you talk to the person outside who changes the saying that they all say. Uh, let's see, you kids. Nothing, nothing. Okay. And I like how he crouches down to talk to him. Uh, looks really cute, but if we go out here, I believe we could change it by talking to this guy, because he's the hip and happening kid. I like what's hip happening and trending. I'm always checking it out. Hey, have you heard about these po new potion festivals? That's right, of course you know. I mean, potion festivals are the hottest thing and cool. Potion festivals are the biggest thing happening in where you're from too, right? Uh, no. Huh? It's not a hip and happening thing? Well, hey, you have to tell me. What's the new and what's in? Uh, 
Wait, I actually have to choose items? I can't choose words? Oh, but I want to say Idol Master again. Oh, that's not fun. Uh, I'll try to think of something funny. Give me a minute. Hmm, nuggets, huh? What's popular about them? Schools, parties, masters, festivals, dances, songs, collections, qualities, houses, texas. Uh, let me think. Nugget, <laughs> nugget quit, no. Nugget schools, nugget parties, hey. Nugget masters, uh, guess. Uh, nugget festivals, nugget dances, nugget songs, nuggets collections, nugget qualities, nugget houses, nugget dexes. Uh, I'm going with either nugget nugget parties or nugget masters or nugget dances. Nugget festivals kind of funny too. Nugget nugget I gotta go with nugget master. The sequel to Idol Master. Nugget master. Nugget masters. Oh yeah yeah I know about those nugget masters right? They're the coolest aren't they? They're the hippest thing in the hip these days. There's no way I wouldn't know about them. Potion festivals are so yesterday's news. It's nugget masters time now. Uh, you can only show them in either an item or a medicine, so a very limited quantity. I don't know why they changed it. Uh, what are you saying now? I've been doing some research on trendy Nugget Masters. Is it true that there's a deep relationship between Nugget Masters and fashion? He still has the thing with Idol Master. Like, if it was Idol Master and fashion, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my hunch is right. I'm one step closer to being hip and happening. Yowza. Uh, but anyway, Sludge Bomb is a phenomenal move. I would really like to teach it to someone if they can learn it. And the only one you can learn is Torkoal. Let's see. Does Torkoal know Sludge Bomb and... Uh, a GBA game right now, so I think it would be fitting. Uh, what can we get rid of? Got Rock Tomb. Uh, he's got better special attacks, surprisingly. I thought it was better offense, but whatever. Uh, Sludge Bump is a special move, though, so that's kind of Aqua Talk. But it's 90 power, anime poison, which I really like. I'll probably get rid of Rock Tomb, because lower speed, I guess, but no one's ever going to be slower than Torkoal, no matter how many times we lower its speed, so probably not going to bother. Plus, I think Hariyama knows uh, Rock Tomb, so we don't have to worry about it. And the cool thing about TNs and HMs in this game... <clears throat> I can't speak. The cool thing about TNs and HMs in this game is that you could go ahead and use them multiple times on Pokemon, which is great. So you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I want to save this TM for later Pokemon or whatever. No, you can just go ahead and use it on all your Pokemon right away. Which is very, very nice. Again, not really a thing to make the game easier, but just making it more convenient. Because if you didn't teach it to one Pokemon, you would end up, like... Uh, breeding to get on that move, or you would like trade it over to a game that had an extra TM or whatever. It's just convenience. You don't have to worry about it, making the game too easy. And hi, kitty cat. Or oh, my cat. I just like every recording from here on out, I'm just gonna be talking about my cat and dog. Uh, the cave is a bit different, has a bit different layout than it did in the GBA version. I believe you just have to go down here. And here's an Abra that we could catch, but I don't really care, so I'm probably just gonna run away from it. Do I even have any repels? That would be kind of nice for us to throw up, but I think we could get to the end of this cave pretty quickly. I think it's just in this room that we're done. Uh, yes it is! If we go up here, Zo MG, I never would have guessed. Mm hmm well, seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal reversion, while that one shows mega evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestors once lived here too. The ancestors who passed down through me the knowledge of how to protect the world. How to avert the threat that will appear from space as long as was foretold. From a place higher even than the heavens. What is it, Aster? Oh? We do seem to meet an awful lot, Jeffrey. Are you also interested in this old painting? Or are you here for the other? For one of the meteorite shards that can serve as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, you know I adore you. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice, tough, and ask first. You're ready to battle me, right? That's my boy. Now let's do it. Give me a good taste of everything you and your Pokemon have to offer. This girl says all the right things. Okay. We are having a battle against Pokemon Trainer Zinnia. And she has a really awkward monkey dance when she enters battle. And hello. Sending out a Tyrantrum, a Pokemon from Generation 6. 
Uh, needless to say, we are not going to be having the Pokemon bios in this Let's Play either. Unless it's a Generation 3 Pokemon that we have not met previously, we're not going into bios of any of the other Pokemon that you can find in the after game or whatever. Because that is information for a future Let's Play. So, Tyrantrum. Let's see what we can do against it. I don't have Water Spout, unfortunately. That's kind of sad. Do, have I not learned it yet, or did I not decide not to learn it or whatever? I don't know, because these are all AHM moves, so... I just made Waylord the HM Slave. Tyrantrum is a rock and dragon type, so at least it'll be weak to water, I hope. Go ahead and do that. Uh, decent damage, at least. I, it's a higher level, so it is going to be somewhat of a challenge. And Waylord's actually going to go down. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, critical hit. God darn it. So let's see. We do have the new fairy type at our disposal, but I don't think any of our team members know fairy type moves, so... We don't actually have that to work with, but it's good to keep in mind. Uh, we'll go with Hardyama. Go for it, Hardyama. Shove his big old ham hand right into the screen and use Vital Throw. Okay, use Dragon Claw. Oh, jeez. Uh, you should be able to handle it no problem because you got great defense. And we're good. Critical hit. Very nice. Her next Pokemon is going to be. A Altaria. Okay, so we got a dragon flying type. Electric would be nice, and so would ice, but I got none of those. Huh. So for Altaria, let's go with Torkoal, because Torkoal's got good defense, could just sort of do whatever he wants. Uh, not sure if she has any Mega Evolutions or Mega Stones of her own, but if she does, then this Altaria does have a chance of Mega Evolving. So let's go ahead and use... Uh, we'll do Sludge Bomb, our new move, why not? Uh, she's using Dragon Pulse, usually if they have Mega Stones, they'll use them on the first turn, so chances are she does not have one. Use Sludge Bomb. If you get a Poison, that'd be nice. Uh, of course you don't. Go and use it again, Dragon Pulse. Uh, down to halfway, or less than halfway. Uh, we're somewhat even. I think Flame Wheel might be kind of nice as well. Let's see what that does, because we get the same type of attack bonus. Uh, keep on using Dragon Pulse. Can I survive? Thank you. This does crazy good damage. That'd be very nice. Uh, no, unfortunately, that was a critical. Oh, God. Uh, they're going to just end up losing Torkoal this turn. Dragon Pulse, yeah. I don't really want to use items because probably not entirely necessary. Might need them for later. Don't really mind losing a couple Pokemon. We could just revive them later. Uh, I guess we'll switch to Swellow. At least we get to see all the new friends again. And I do like Swell's flying animation, looks really cool. We'll go ahead and use uh, Air Slash, I guess. Was it Xenoblade or whatever? I do like having Brave Bird, though, because it's one of my favorite moves. It just does crazy good damage. It flinched! I'm surprised it didn't kill it, though. Whatever, I could accept it because it went ahead to do the flinch, and that's always good to have. And down goes Altaria. Get some experience. And her last Pokemon is Salamence! Another Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Great. Uh, I'm going to stick with Swellow for now because I feel like Swellow will go down pretty easily, but we'll try Intimidate. That's another reason why I oh, Swellow's a good physical attacker, so I should have switched to Salabi, possibly. Uh, we'll try Brave Bird, see what that does. Okay. Go ahead and do that. And uh, kind of lame damage, but we've done a lot more. Oh, Thunder Fane, of course you have that. Uh, it would have been a lot more if we didn't have to suffer through Intimidate, but whatever. Uh, at least we can go ahead and use Brave Bird once again, but that's probably going to KO us in the process. Kind of unfortunate, but whatevs. Oh, wait, it didn't KO us. Okay, whatever. Now that really matters, because we were going down anyway. It's actually kind of a tough battle. Remember uh, one of the complaints of Alpha Sapphire was that it was way too easy, and that my main complaint was that, like, no trainer had more than three Pokemon. Like, that was just a thing. Nobody had more than three Pokemon except for, like, the Elite Four, and that was really stinking weird. But, whatever, we're gonna switch to Salabi. Hopefully we can finish this off. The only one we haven't reunited with yet, and we're gonna go ahead and use Mega Evolution. There's no real reason not to use it unless you just want to challenge yourself, but I do not care for a challenge. I care for easy victories. Always so cool to see that. Uh, as for whether or not I like Mega Evolution, I kind of don't. I think the Z rings in Sun and Moon were a lot better, like a lot better in terms of like uh, not as overpowered because you can only use it once per battle and it's just a move. You can only use like one good move per battle, but this one gives you like one super powered Pokemon for the entire battle.
and that's kind of overpowered in my opinion. And another problem I have with it is that it's just only given to OP Pokemon, but we'll get into that later. That is, yes, that's it. That's just what I was looking for. Nice, real nice, Jeffrey. Oh, I really felt that one. Full points to you. That settles it. You get this me the Meteorite Shard as a reward. Uh, can we get the Mega Stones you stole as well? Maybe, possibly? Bing! That glittery Meteorite that you've got there. Hmm, it sure gives off some vi- sure giving off some vibes. I'm sure I'd keep a tight hold on that if I were you, along with that Shard I just gave you. actions that you're taking now are they based on the ideals you cling to or are they based on actual truths and if they are how much of the truth do you think you know yes ma'am moving out such a spoiled girl you are Aster so what'll our next up be hmm sweetie The entry call version 0.09 app. Rain on your Pokemon Plus. You can't, you could always just say you got mail. It had a nice ring to it. Jeffrey, were you able to find the meteorite star that we needed? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back to us at the Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't seem to have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be there for you. Of course, I gotta reference that. So we got our uh, meteorite shard taken care of, so I guess we could just head on out of the cave. See you in just a bit. That was kind of a tough battle, all things considered. I think it would have been a lot better if we had better moves at our disposal, but uh, Whale Lord's moveset is very not pleasant, unfortunately, because I just need all those HMs for different things, and I don't know if we need them for the Delta episode or not. So just for the sake of convenience, I think I'm just going to keep Whale Lord's moveset the way it is. I know it would be nice to have better moves on it, but... Unfortunately, I can't really go ahead and do that because I might need these moves later. I could look up and see if I don't need them, but that takes effort. So I think I think we're going to be okay in the long run. It's just that, no, that could have a better move set. But in case we need an HM on the way, we're covered. Speaking of HMs, I'm really sad that I can't show this to you because um, when I was playing through Alpha Sapphire again to prepare for this LP, I caught a shiny Zigzagoon, and I was freaking the heck out, and I really wanted to show it in this LP. I was, like, so super excited. However, I didn't know that once you put a Pokemon into Pokemon, uh, whatever it's called, like the Pokemon box, and then like you send it to Sun and Moon or whatever, or X and Y, that you can't send it back. Or like when you put it into the Poke Transfer, you can't send it backwards. So, unfortunately, I did have a shiny Zigzagoon once upon a time. I don't have any Pokemon besides these. Did I give them all away? Yeah. I guess I had a lot to get as well because I was like part of the plot or something. So, could I not use it? Uh, that'd be kind of Ako Taco. Because, like, Latias, like, that was one of, like, the, one of the coolest things about this game, is that you could fly around on a Latias and all that jazz. Can I not do that in this game because I transferred it? If so, I'm going to be really mad with myself. It works, even though I don't have him with me anymore! The absolute coolest thing of Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby, whether or not you like this game, this is amazing. Getting to fly around the entire stinking Hoenn region. I love this so stinking much, and I absolutely, like, I wish it gets integrated in, like, future Pokemon games, because, like, it looks so sick and cool getting to see the entire world you've explored. You can't land anywhere you haven't been before, obviously, but, like, I absolutely adore this. It looks so sick and cool. I, don't have, I can't say enough good things about it. I have no idea where we're actually supposed to go, because I can't really remember where Moss Deep is. Uh, but I could still try to look around for it. We got Fortree City. Moss Deep was, like, around here, wasn't it? Uh, I'll keep looking for it, but I just absolutely love this. I'm so happy I can actually still show it off. Um... If you're playing o Omega Ruby, it'll be Latios, I think. Or as if you play as a girl, you get Latios. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but 
uh, basically we have Latias in this game and then Latios will be in the other one. I'm not sure how I set it up in the GBA games because you get to choose which one you want and the other one you need to get through an Eon ticket which I don't have because no one has those things because uh, it like, requires an e-reader card. No one has those things either. It's all very confusing but hopefully it all makes sense in the end. But like how did this all get uh, brought up from me just talking about I had a shiny Zigzagoon once upon a time. I believe, yeah, you press B to like do a dash attack which looks really cool. But uh... Yeah, what I was trying to say, I got a shiny Zigzagoon, but I put it in the Poke Transfer for Pokemon Bank. That's what it's called, Pokemon Bank. And I can't get it back out. You can't bring it back to Alpha Sapphire, which is kind of unfortunate. But I believe it's in the Pokedex, so... Uh, oh, you go up with the X button. That's really cool. And down with Y. That's really cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, but I have no idea where we're supposed to be. Come on, the Space Center. Let's just look for a Space Center looking thing, huh? Uh, we got this thing, Mauville City. Space Center would be... I swear it's like up here somewhere. Maybe it's this building over here. Or maybe that's just a pile of rocks and that's absolutely nothing. Cool. Rustboro City. We're like, went back to the beginning. I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Come on, I can find this. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, phooey. Fortree City. Uh, Moss Deep. Moss Deep. Mossy was like, we got Lily Cove. It's not over here, is it? Mossy, what the fruit? I didn't think it was over here. That building's the space center. I remember it being like next to Ford Tree or something like that. Okay, whatever. That looks like a rocket ship or a lighthouse or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna land. Okay, now that I'm done having a super dope time in that thing. Oh, oh I remember. I love this trainer. I don't know. I just love the trainer design. Uh, Lies and Tate, Mossdeep, Jim have very mysterious powers. Their powers are paranormal like psychic type Pokemon. If you have any trouble, you may want to visit the gym. I already beat the gym. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, what I was trying to say, like, I think in the Pokedex it'll show that I caught the shiny Zigzagoon. Unfortunately, I can't actually show it with you, but whatever. Uh, what do we got? We got some Pokemon. Let's show Zigzagoon. Uh, more? What do we got? Appearance and Cry. Uh, yep, here we go. Here's the shiny Zigzagoon I caught, just so you don't think I'm a liar. Uh, his name was Knickerbocker, named after a very special Zigzagoon from Cuddle of Death, of course. I had to name it after him. Uh, yeah, it was a shiny Zigzagoon. I was really happy that I had it. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you here, but at least his legacy will live on in this LP, sort of. Yay! Awesome! Uh, but yeah, Space Center, let's go ahead and find that thing now. I uh, really didn't think it was here, and also, how do I, uh, yeah, how do I bike, yeah. Get on that bike and try to go a bit quicker and see if I could find the space center. It's probably making a lot of people really think I don't know because I'm just messing everything up, but whatever. Uh, this is not the space center, is it? Uh, apparently it is. I do not remember it being in Moss Deep, but maybe it did get changed at some point, I don't know. You must be Jeffrey. Mr. Stephen Stone told me he was expecting you. Uh, this way, please. <laughs> Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Ah, uh, Jeffrey, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Also, I would do a Cosmo impression from Fairly Odd Parents, but I cannot achieve that voice. Also, go and watch some of the newer episodes of Fairly Odd Parents. Like, his voice is sinking gone. Like, he tries so sinking hard to hit the high notes, but like... It literally everything sounds like this now. It's like trying so hard to sound like Cosmo, but it just sounds like, Hi, Tammy, I'm a cool cartoon character or something like that. It's just like, oh my god, the voice is sinking gone. And like, uh, considering what happened with the show's creator, I think the show itself is sinking gone at this point. So uh, we'll not talk about that any further. Ah, Jeffrey, thank you for coming. And you brought the meteorite shard with you. Well done. Hand it over the meteorite shard. I was rather surprised to learn that you knew the professor. You really do seem to make connections everywhere you go, I know him uh okay i'll go along with it even though i don't remember anything now then professor could i ask you to explain once more about the current plan indeed please come this way i imagine that you've heard some of the situation from president stone already our current plan involves using the infinity energy within our rocket combined with the energy of humans found in the keystone uh, life energy of humans, my god. Uh, we will start off by artificially replicating the mass energy, the massive energy that is triggered at the time of Mega Evolution. 
We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. Seems simple enough. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteoroid, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices, like toilets. Oh, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> those pa those panels that you spin on, uh, spin about, and then you come out of, warp to another spot. I imagine you stepped on a few such an audacious plan. And using such technology, you would. May I ask where exactly the asteroid will be warped to? The Sino region. I mean, well, we're not entirely sure, but we do have a device that links the warp holes. We named it the Link Cable. <laughs> really. There's no need to worry. No need to worry. Based on our theory, we could at least guarantee that we'll be sending it away from our region. I mean planet. However, we've realized that we will need more energy than officially anticipated to control the link cable properly. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but with one more meteorite shard... Who lets you in here? Nice. So this is the heart of the famous space center everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, huh, Aster? Excuse me, young lady, you can't just let yourself in here. Oh, where's the harm in it? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Right? Uh -huh. She's just charming everyone these days. Who, who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh, me? We do seem to keep running into one another. You are a busy boy, Jeffrey. Who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Zinnia, just your regular old tourist, nothing more. Dreaming of taking a little trip into space, heh. <laughs> oh, I see. Someone just exploded upstairs. So this is that. So this is what has come of human technology and hope of blood and sweat and tears and... Well, the gist of it gets kind of long and boring, but it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. About just what kind of energy you're using to fuel this rocket thing. The, ab the abominable technology humanity first thought of 3,000 years ago. So you're once again planning to claim that this is the best for humanity? Or best for the whole darn world? It's a snap of your fingers to repeat the sins of the past. Worse, if what I overheard is true, this time you, you're about to commit an error more abominable than before. Tell me, would you rather we sit here wringing our hands, waiting for that meteoroid to strike us? Ahaha, what's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for a former Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang my hopes up on what our current champion will have to say. Uh, hate to break it to you, but the best you're going to get from me is a yes or a no. So what about it, Jeffrey? What do you think? Do you have some better idea? Oh, I guess I got flavor in my yes or no's. You bet I do. I've got nothing. Uh, I don't know. Things have been working out for me so far, so I guess might as well just go along with it. You bet I got a better plan. Just don't ask me to explain it. Oh, really? Well, that's promising. You'll have to tell me so we can get these uh, guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize the way you guys are looking at this, but I want you to be sure you've thought this through well and good. You know, there are necessary sacrifices, and there are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment. This is the best you could do with all your knowledge and technology. Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, you'd rather repeat the mistakes of the past straight up. No, you're going to add new mistakes on top of that. That really takes the cake. You guys need some imagination. Oops. But you were all in the middle of a conversation or something, right? Sorry about that. I guess we'll just let ourselves out then. Come on, Aster. Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us. It's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. Uh, and yet, I feel as though I should know her from... somewhere. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe you were trying to tell us something before that woman interrupted us. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, you see, in order to complete the warp hole, we will need to... We'll need to acquire another meteorite shard, an extremely pure one. Then we should head to Granite Cave once again. No, the kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found at Meteor Falls. Meteor Falls? I see. Perhaps we will learn something there. 
I will head to Meteor Falls at once. Follow as soon as you are ready. I feel as if we might discover even more than a meteorite shard there. We'll discover the power of friendship or something, I don't know. But we got ourselves another meteor, so I guess this is a good time to end the episode since the last episode we ended off right before we got this meteor. So, next time on Pokemon Delta Emerald, we are going to get ourselves yet another meteor. How exciting. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.